Hello everyone, this is Juan from Ken Hub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial. For this time we're going to be talking about the different nerves of the esophagus. And to do so, we're going to be looking at this image that you see now on your screen. What we have here is your thorax. We just opened it, took all of the organs or the major organs that you find on the thorax. You see here the diaphragm, the esophagus bit of the stomach. You also see here, this is the thoracic aorta, the aortic arch. Then you see some of the scalene muscles. And of course, the yellow structures are representing the nerves that we're going to be discussing on this tutorial. Now the esophagus, as you probably know, is a long fibromuscular tube that connects the pharynx with the stomach. Now we're going to be seeing here on this image, all these yellow structures consist of different nerves, trunks, and also plexuses that we're going to be talking about. And before I do so, I'm going to list them. They include the intercostal nerves, also the right and left vagus nerves, the anterior vagal trunk, the right and left recurrent laryngeal nerves, the greater splanchnic nerve, the anterior gastric plexus, the esophageal plexus, and the right and left sympathetic trunks. We're going to start off with the very first ones on the list that you see here highlighted in green. Again, we're looking at the interior view of your thorax where you can see the intercostal nerves. Now the intercostal nerves are part of the somatic nervous system and they arise from the anterior roots of the thoracic spinal nerves from T1 to T11. 11 of them are located between the ribs and are therefore termed as intercostal. The 12th one will be lying below the last rib, that's why we call it then the subcostal nerve. Now these nerves will be controlling contraction of the intercostal muscles as well as providing specific sensory information regarding the skin and parietal pleura. The next structures that we're going to be talking about and right now I show, I'm showing you a different image here where you can see where they come from. These are the vagus nerves. So as you can see here, the right vagus nerve and the left vagus nerve. And keep in mind that we're looking at an interior view of the neck. You see here a bit of the mandible, the larynx, a bit of the trachea, and the two clavicles. So you see what is happening here. So we can see where the two vagus nerves come from. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website. Not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.